to shaky vinyl review please stop shaking um, today we're going to go over David Bowie's pinups and changes to changes Two, which are the two early David Bowie albums I have one is a compilation album so we're just gonna I'm gonna show you the actual studio album I have and then we're gonna talk about his uh, early solo solo career his er early career and then next episode we're going to go over uh, Black Star, the other David Bowie album I have. But as with previous episodes, it's hot in here today, so the fan's going, which you might be able to hear. And also, you're a bit further away this time, so I'm not like this. I don't know whether that's any better for you, but let's get on. So today, we're going to talk about pinups, which is... Um, it was released in the 80s, I swear it was. But it's David Bowie's cover album. Now this was at the height of his career in the 80s. So he could do no wrong. And then this album come out. And a lot of people think it's the worst David Bowie album. I I quite like it. I mean I, I bought this album. I'll admit I bought it only because of the C. Emily Play um, cover by Pink Floyd. Which is a great cover. But we'll get into that. Um, so I'll show you the back. I love the art style and the chore is it chore choreography, no? Chore just the typeface and the uh, brain. I can't speak today. The I can't handwriting. It's just the way it fucking looks, alright? Just and I like the pictures. And I think that's a strange but great uh, cover art. Now it comes with a nice little picture and that has the lyrics to Where Have All The Good Times Gone and then just tells you who's in his band. His band. If you want to pause that and have a read, you can. Uh, just a plain old black vinyl, I don't need to get it out. But the label is cool, a nice orange label on the Bowie record label. Cool. Now, is this one of the greatest albums of all time? No. But, hear me out, hear me out, it is amazing. Rosalind, the opening track, is fantastic. That sort of bleeds into Here Comes the Night, which is brilliant. Amazing covers. I Wish You Would is great. See Emily Play, amazing cover. Now, David Barry uh, openly admits that Sid Barrett was, is one of his... Uh, idols, one of his musical influences, things that got him into his sound and he likes uh, Sid Barrett's work with Pink Floyd and his solo career which is just fantastic you know and so do I and I'm wearing the Pink Floyd, rocking the Pink Floyd shirt today Everything's Alright is great, I Can't Explain, it's amazing Friday On My Mind is great, Sorrow, I Can't Read, Don't Bring Me Down, Shake Three times, eh? It's all scribbled out. Uh, shapes of things. Anyway, any I can't read his handwriting on this. But uh, where where have all the good times gone? Is the closing track, and it isn't really. It's amazing. Um, just that there. I can't read it because I'm dyslexic and weird. But this is definitely an album you should check out if you haven't heard it. But now onto the more mainstream David Bowie, we have Changes to Bowie, which is, I bought it because I thought it was one of his studio albums, it's just a compilation album, which is not a bad thing, but it's the second compilation album, Changes, I was assuming the first one is just called David Bowie Changes, but it comes with a really nice, well, oh, sleeve, sorry. Also available, Changes One Bowie, that's what it's called apparently. Space Odyssey, Oddity, John I'm Only Dancing, that's all his albums. And then comes with one of those uh, old-timey old, old -timey, uh, brain adverts. And it's got all his albums on it, that's cool. So, includes Sorrow, Here Comes the Night, See Only Play, uh, David Live. Now, I haven't heard him live, but I'm assuming that he is amazing live. Um, 
So out of his early albums, what stuff I've listened to, I have to say uh, Low or Hunky Dory would be my favourite. Uh, Hunky Dory has a song about uh, Bob Dylan, a song to Bob Dylan, which is great. But in terms of this album, which we should be talking about, it starts with Aladdin Sing, which is an amazing song. Oh, you pretty things. <laughs> it's fantastic. Starman is amazing. One of my favourite David Bowie songs. Uh, Ashes to Ashes is my favourite David Bowie song. Just, I love, love, uh, is Ashes to Ashes. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Am I getting them mixed up? No, no. Church on time. Church on time terrifies me. Anyway, just amazing song. Uh, sound, sound division is great. Fashion, wild, wild with the wind. John, I'm only dancing again. And DJ are all great songs. But um, Ashes to Ashes is my favourite David Bowie song. It's just brilliant and so catchy and memorable. But the problem I have is just when the words are all put together like that, I can't read them. Um, Starman is another amazing David Bowie song, as well as Life on Mars. It's a life on Mars. Um, Space Oddity is the other one that's just fantastic. David Bowie is such an amazing performer. His songs have so much passion and a uh, flair to them. I love all his different outfits and. You know, if you go through David Bowie's catalogue, you get all these different looks, outfits and vibes that no other artist could really pull off. But that's the, that's the two albums. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time where we go over David Bowie's best album. Take care, everyone.